Before we hop into today's episode, we have a quick word from one of our sponsors, Game, game Time. Time. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account and redeem code FRIDAY for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And another quick word from Quip. If you go to getquip.com slash almost Friday right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser. That's 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash almost Friday. Spelled will hit them. G E T Q U I P dot com slash almost Friday. Quip the, the Good Quip. Habits Company. Let's Liam, go. come ride me. Okay. All right, let's get into this episode. Right, well. Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. Guys, today we have a very special guest. Lukey, Lukey, Lukey. Never before Lukey, seen guests. Lukey, Lukey, Lukey's asleep. Lukey's oh. sleeping. Lukey's sleeping. As a callback. Luke No! Whoa! Welcome Our back, special Luke. little friend from from Ohio. Guys, it's good to be back. And unfor- I tried to pay homage to Jimmy Buffett, who mm-hmm. passed away recently. Uh, just tried to wear something that maybe captured the island spirit. Yeah, you got what? a nice little Hawaiian on. I'm really Looks going for the Hawaiian. I'm, um, I have HPV, mm-hmm. nice. uh, just like Jimmy did. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's really flaring up too. Just absolutely riddled. I, I could see the bumps on the outline of your pants. Oh yeah, it's like Braille down there. Mm-hmm. I wonder what it says. It's probably a Stephen King novel. Yes, in Braille. You a big Stephen King guy? I am. I'm a big constant reader, as they call the King heads. I am. I just so finished I... Salem's Lot last week on the beach. Oh, is that is this really a, a Stephen King novel? Oh yeah, vampires. A good old fashioned vampire romp. And I'll tell you what. Sometimes I don't need anything other than just a vampire comes to town and kills everybody. Is this one of the books he wrote on coke and alcohol? Yes, for certain. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I, I was telling Tyler that, like, he had no idea. Like, yeah. it was, he was high on cocaine the entire time. Oh, yeah. That. It's awesome. It's, it's incredible. Jacked out of his skull. Yeah. Do his books kind of, can you tell, like, post-drugs and pre-drugs, like? I think a lot of his, uh earlier work is like very coke fueled like there's one of his earliest books uh, the gunslinger there's a point where this guy this woman is uh in pregnant with the antichrist and uh mm-hmm. uh the protagonist puts a gun inside of her and swirls the 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 feed he aborts a baby with the tip of a revolver wow <laughs> oh my god <laughs> how early on in the book uh right away page one i'm talking like 30 pages into the book, he's a, <laughs> and, and he wrote that book when he was, like, 19. Is his work, like, better or worse after? Do, do we know? It's, Is there a consensus? It's worse. Yeah. There, sometimes drugs are good. Mm-hmm. Sometimes drugs are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's good, still good. Yeah. But, like, some of his old stuff, you're like, whoa, this is dark. You know. Well, anyway, I got a bone to pick with you little fuckers. You what? went to Seattle without me, left me here in the dust yeah. with well, my gal. I'll tell you what, me and Liam split a hotel room. Yeah. Oh, did you, did you, please tell me you didn't do mega bed. No, dude. We considered it, but the bags weren't springy enough. We thought about it. We thought, we about, thought it. about it. That that hurts. Yeah. That you might as well have done it at that point. We mega bed's what Liam and I do every time we share. We should have mega bedded. I and I know I'm thinking about it. I have your sweat shorts at oh, my nice. house and didn't bring them with me, knowing I was going to see you today. That's all right. In <laughs> spirit of the pod. I did not think ahead beyond me thinking of different ways to do butt and PP jokes. Mm-hmm. PP jokes in the in the the pod. Well, you know what you can do, Luke. What can you I know do? where you can bring them. Where? Oh my gosh! Our show this weekend in Cincinnati that we're no, doing. That's oh, no, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was going to say our. Live podcast where you are our, special guesting. On yeah. October 5th. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm special guesting and I'm going to be fully nude. If you're in Los Angeles, California on October 5th, I'm going to be fully nude at the live Almost Friday podcast. Um, people are saying, don't do it. You've got mm-hmm. too many scars and too much loose skin from your <laughs> early days that, you, that you've never gotten removed. But I said, nope, sorry. You got to do it because the skin... 
hangs down far enough that you can't see any of the holes. It really is an eyesore. It's hard to pay attention to you when you tip pop your shirt off. It's I, like a hypnosis. I tell you what, I pop this shirt off right now. Every one of you will gasp in horror. I'm going to claw my fingers to the bone trying to get out. Yeah. I use brick walls if you take your shirt off. It's really bad. I use bread ties to cinch up all the loose <laughs> skin. It looks like cow udders. Uh, on my front side. Looks like gills on this side right <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, I can breathe in the dark <laughs> yeah. over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that Stephen King little, little tit we did, uh-huh. little tit that, uh, yeah. reminded me on... You got fun facts, I don't got, you? No, no, no. This is a different thing. Speaking of fucked uh-huh. up books, I was reading the boys' uh, graphic novel on the, oh, on the flight yeah. to Colorado last weekend. Uh, unbeknownst to me, I'm sitting next to a, a, a nice, a boy. an older woman, oh, okay. actually, and uh, I'm just, and she's, she's, you know, hands free, no phone, nothing. So she's kind of looking down at what I'm reading, and I, and I notice that she's reading what I'm reading, and I'm like, whatever, I don't mind. Turn the page. Hard, hard gang rape scene mm-hmm. in this comic book with pictures. Oh, and. Mm. So I flip it really and she's quickly. She's like, don't do it quick. I didn't read the page yet. I didn't read the bubbles. And she turned her head like this for the rest of the flight. Oh, that's she's brutal. Like, she's like, this young man next to me is reading something cursed and vile. <laughs> I always feel weird when I glance over at, like, if someone's watching something on their laptop or something on a flight, and I look just to, like, this is mm-hmm. right, they're right next to you. It's But I always feel like I've essentially kiss them on the neck. <laughs> like, it's like, it, it feels like I'm invading their personal space so much. When yeah. You're sitting, like, you're like, oh. I did that uh, Die yesterday. another day. I made eye contact. Like, I turned just a little bit, and the lady, like, fully made eye contact with me on the side eye. And I, I, I avoided her, like, the plague the whole time. Uh, we had a medical emer- You ever have any fun medical emergencies on a flight? I had my first one. <sighs> oh, I mean... Well, I want to hear yours. Yeah, don't pretend I... like you want to hear his. You just want I to do. tell yours. Yeah, my medical no, emergency don't. happened 22 years ago to the day yesterday. Well, did it happen to you? It happened to me on oh. a flight, and oh. that crashed in Pennsylvania. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wait, what? I'm sorry? It was 9-11. Yeah. I was yeah. Oh! I, I was saying I was one of the guys that um, took out Al- Al-Qaeda mid-flight. In nine eleven. soon for those yeah. jokes. Yeah, I, yeah. People say it's not going to be funny until it's like 23 or 24 years after the event. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep saying on my feed, it is, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's a whirlpool of emotions. It's like every post is like honoring 9-11. Mm-hmm. And then there's like the next post is like Buzz Lightyear crashing into the Twin Towers. <laughs> and it just, it just mm-hmm. you know, it just hip hops back and forth from all these different, it's great. I like doing um, I this Nine bit. Crazy. So I'm Nine Eleven's crazy. I feel like Nine Eleven jokes can usually be a, a, like it's got to be really creative to get me. You mm-hmm, know what I mean? Yeah. Like most not of me. them, like the memes. I'm like some of them are funny and a Buzz Lightyear, or whatever. It can be funny, but it's like most of them. I'm like I need a little effort. But I did this joke that I was not planning on doing a Nine Eleven joke. I did some college gig where I was just like everyone in this room was born. Like after 9 11. Oh, yes. Post 9 11. And I said, This is not a 9 11 joke. This is fucked up. Because any American who was alive that day will tell you that on the news, Big Daddy George Bush said, We Americans will vow from this day forward never to have sex again until 9 11 happens again. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? We haven't had a 9-11 since, and all you guys are sitting here at this public university, which means your your parents spit in our president's face <laughs> and did not honor the agreement of not having sex until 9-11 happens again. I have not. I have not had sex since 9-11. And I... <laughs> yeah, they, didn't, they, they reacted similarly to how you are now, where they're like... We don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> Our university paid for you to be here. They flew you here and put you in a hotel. Yeah, I, I did a used to have a nine eleven bit about if Mark Wahlberg was on the flights, but the terrorists recognize him from Boogie Nights, <laughs> and so <laughs> they're like getting up with the box cutters and like, is that fucking, is that the fucking guy? From- what, Dirk what's Diggler? He said, yeah. One guy's like, oh, is he, what's he, is the Funky Bunch? He's like, no, you haven't seen Boogie Nights? And then they're just, they get caught up in talking about how great of a film Boogie Nights is, that they don't carry out the set. And they're like, shit, that was the Pentagon. Yeah. We can't, we didn't learn to turn. We got to turn around. We didn't learn to turn around. Again, people didn't like it. People did not like that. Well, 9-11 is crazy. 
It's just like, what? It's just like, what the heck happened? To me, it was too twisted. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing in the morning? Guys, it's too soon. Shut up! Oh. 23 years ago! Yeah, what do you mean it's but too it's soon? But it's just like, nine. the date nine eleven happened yesterday. Everyone gets upset during that day. And so it's, it's 9-12. Just, it's we're allowed. This is it's actually 9-14. Yeah, this is coming out 914. This is 914, which was my Boy Scout troop number. Shout really? out Troop 914. Were you ever touched? That was my... I ne- my wife asked me that, too. I never yeah. got touched. I wasn't hot enough. There's a whole documentary coming out about that. Oh, trust Sucky. me. Really? Yeah. She wanted to watch it, and I'm like, I'm good. And she's like, why? Is it because it's going to dredge up old stuff? And I'm like, I know. I'm just... It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. I watched the Michael Jackson one. That was the last one I watched where I was like... I don't really want to watch this kind of stuff like anymore. It. I'm good without. <laughs> it makes my tummy hurt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm good without. <laughs> but I was telling him I started the Jared Fogel one, and I was like, I'm Ooh. In, three episodes. I watched the first one. I was like, I'm good. Me too. I, Brutal. I'm okay. The, the first phone call. Yeah. I'm like, that's all for me. I'll pa- I'll take a hard pass on this one. I'm against that. Yeah. Well, you, now here's another little fun tidbit. Liam and I did a show in Tacoma mm-hmm. together, mm-hmm. which is kind of the the Hoboken. Uh, to New York uh, of Seattle. So it's kind of Seattle's Hoboken. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, it's Tacoma. And we get to Tacoma, nice little town. We're walking around downtown looking for something to eat. And this is on a weekend where there was not a human being. We were walking around like it was fucking 28 days later. We were like, <laughs> do people live here? Like every every business was closed. We're just like... Is this a a set? Is this like a Hollywood (laughs) set? We could not find a restaurant. It was bizarre. We walked five or six blocks, not like barely saw the car. Were you in like the main part of the city? Yes, yes. The heart of downtown. (laughs) Everything was closed. What time of day was it? Middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. We're like looking to get dinner. We're like, or we're like trying to you know snag a beer and really really blast off. But to come, what they ended up being pretty fun. Yeah. that was fun. It was weird. I mean, the only guy we saw was just a guy wearing overalls, no shirt, just like jean overalls, smoking some Afghan kush. Yeah. Just a fat doobie. And we're like, all right, Tacoma's. <laughs> Never mind. The vibe's back. <laughs> I we're liked good. it, though. That was a great show. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. They were fun. Yeah. Cincinnati's going to be a handful this weekend. I'm excited. I'm very if excited. you're watching this on 914 and you live in the tri-state area, I'm talking Kentucky. I'm talking Indiana. I'm talking Ohio. You need to get your drunk ass drunk drive. We want to. We. Are the, I'm speaking for the pot here. Yes, yes, you are. We want to encourage you to get there in any means possible. Get a, in a plane that you don't know how to fly. Get mm-hmm. in there. Get in a boat. Drive it on the mud. Find a muddy causeway. Make your way down to Go Bananas this this coming week. You will be turned away. Mm-hmm. We're gonna breathalyze you if it's a, if it's anything below a point away. You're gonna be turned away. If you can open your eyes, you're gonna be turned away. That's right. You're not. If you aren't to leaning to one side, you're gonna be turned away. If you don't have an outstanding warrant for your arrest, you're not getting in the club, pal. Bye. You wasted your money. Bye. No refunds. Thanks. No refunds. Just do what the Sky King did. Get there That's- that way. The awesome. Sky King? I yeah. honor Sky King. <laughs> you don't know the Sky King? He did that in Seattle. Yeah, we were, that's what it reminded me. That's, uh, you might know the details. Oh, I not. love it. The dude yeah. hijacked a, he was like a baggage dude at Seattle airport, and he just got in a plane and took off. <laughs> oh, I saw this video, <laughs> and then they, the, it's That's a great video. footage of it, right? Yeah, yeah. There's the uh, air traffic control audio of him talking up there, and he's just like... He rocks. Yeah, he's like, I just got a couple screws loose, you know? He go, Yeah, he's just like, I'm going to do a barrel roll and call it a day. <laughs> and then he did the barrel roll successfully, he didn't crash, and he went, honestly, I thought that was going to be it. So now I don't know what I'm doing. He's he, the guy. That's awesome. It's He's hilarious, and also it's very sad, because you know how it ends. Because he crashes, but you're like, I when I when I hear that video, I'm like, I genuinely love this guy. I miss him. Sky so he King. crashed and died. He did. Yeah. Wow. They didn't hurt anybody. Is... They thought he was gonna like run into where people were. He mm-hmm. was like, No, I'm not doing that. I'm just kinda joyriding and then calling it a day. What a way to go out. Yeah. Sky King. Yeah. Holy Sky shit. R. I. P. Sky King. Yeah, and there's the title of the pod. And they were like, they were like, why are you? They're like, we can t- try to get you to land it. He's like, ah, I kind of figured I'd know how to take it off from like video games, uh, but now nah, I don't think I'm gonna land. <laughs> and they're just like, okay. So he knew he was like killing himself when he went up there. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting way to do it. 
All right. Before we get in, one last thing. Mm -hmm. Because you know, end of the pod, there's only like five sickos that make it there. Mm -hmm. I am recording my special in L.A. Yes. On the Where second at? of October. The week of the big show. My show? Not that important. It's at Dynasty Typewriter on October the 2nd. It's going to, you know, we have a bunch of special guests, you know. Who knows? Maybe Wayne Brady's going to sing with me. Maybe <gasps> Wayne, Patty Harrison, Steph Tolov are going to be there. Who knows? <gasps> Who knows? Maybe it'll be really fun. But if you're free, 10 2 and you live in SoCal, freaking come. Uh, I'll be there because I'm not a freak fuck. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what you have going on. Hey, do you guys want to watch a video? I want you guys to watch a video. Yeah, I would yeah, love to. Please. Throw it up. Emily, can you go to YouTube.com? Remember there's a dot? Chicks. She's like, what the heck? How do Chicks. I work this crap? Can you type in... <laughs> I got to look up what it's called. It's called Couple Unite for Horsing Around. <laughs> <laughs> now, last is this, time is I was this... here... Oh, no. but let's do a little preamble. Last time I was here, we watched a video that I honestly think was a little bit whacked out. Yeah. And I said, if I'm going to come hang out on Almost Friday Pod again... We should watch a, an uplifting video. Mm. Is this like where are they now for right height, no bucket required or whatever it is? This, in a way, it's a where are they now in that it's happened five to ten minutes after just, <laughs> <laughs> just the right height, no bucket is okay. required. So this, yeah. Hit me. We did eventually meet Ken, <laughs> who shares her sexual preference. Full screen. Oh, oh, okay. Grab a couple handfuls of that smaller stuff. Okay. There. Oh, the music is very fitting. Oh, that's eerie. This is music from... I was technically a virgin until I was 29 years old. I was a zoophile up until then, and I just basically didn't have much interest in kind of um, other members of my own species <laughs> as far as a, a life bond or anything. I didn't have interest but in my species. But when I species. met Ellie here, I just... We clicked. It, it was the one person that uh, I felt within a week, probably, after I met her, we were meant to be together. Yeah. Of course. Come sit over here. Ken and Ellie met through a zoo friend on the internet. After a few weeks, they arranged their first date. Well, the, the first night that he came, to, came up to visit me, um, I took him down to the barn to introduce him to some of my horses and some of the other horses that I enjoyed at the barn. And I took him in and introduced him to my miniature stallion. And kind of, I don't know if it was subconscious, kind of, I was very nervous and kind of wanted to do the uh, uh, shock factor, as it were. Um, my miniature stallion was dropped and, ma and masturbating. Uh, when his penis is dropped and he slaps it on his belly, they call that masturbation for stallions. You guys know that. Mm -hmm. And so I Wait, just... Wait, pause. I, what is she saying? She's saying that the, the horse is already jacking off. So the horse is a rock hard and slapping its own dick on its own tummy. And so she knows that this horse is horny. Okay. And is ready to um, have sex with a human. Okay. I, I, One thing led to another, and I couldn't resist, so I bent down and started sucking on him. And then he tried climbing on top of me, so the next thing I know, my pants are down, and I'm bending over for him, and I'm like, excuse me, I can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess part, part of me said, okay, either he's for real, and he won't mind <laughs> this, or he's not for real, and he's going to be totally freaked out by it and, and run. Um, obviously he didn't run. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I was very tempted at the point to uh, this have sloppy seconds. Real life it, it turned me on. <laughs> it, was, it was so erotic from to, to watch He's like this. totally Kyle from the Amanda show. The yes. whole thing. And uh, it didn't shock me at all. In fact, I was like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I think I found somebody here that, that might be on, on my plane here. And it went from there. And we... Here we are, married. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get spicy well, when you I find the factors in. vaginal sex with my miniature stallion. Uh, he's not a whole lot larger than most humans. Okay. Um, he is a bit bigger, but a bit bigger. not uncomfortably <laughs> so. Um, oh, no. I, li I like to, to suck on him orally. Sure, orally. Uh, you would suck and on him. he especially enjoys that. Mm -hmm. I have anal sex with, with, the, with the miniature stallion. He penetrates me, and it's... It's pleasurable, but it's not real intense. It's like I said, the, the, the pleasure that I get from him is more from knowing how much he enjoys having what sex the with me. Fuck? It's pretty good, he, huh? he tends to tell me about it. He talks a lot. He grunts and, and wickers and, and 
blows in my ear, etc. And that is very erotic to me, more so than the physical sex. When he's courting me, as it were, how trying to entice were? me to, uh, to bend down or kneel down, um, he, he does a lot of, uh, um, I call it a hubba hubba. <laughs> he just kind of goes, and makes his little hubba hubba noise to me. Um, and, then, and then once he's in, I mean, for, for every stroke that he does, he makes this big grunt, grunting noise. Right. And then when he orgasms, he makes an even bigger grunting noise. <laughs> but he tends to like to hold on with his teeth, and I no. actually have some scars on my back from where he's bitten onto me, just hanging on. Uh, they do the same thing with mares when they have sex. And only his, mares have fur to hang on to. He tends to get a big chunk of skin with them. And that can be quite painful, but usually I don't even notice until after the fact because I'm so caught up in the moment. And then I get up to the house, and Ellie says, oh, I see you've been down fooling around. You've got a big bite mark on your back again. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Just wanted something to kind of be more uplifting because with all the 9-11 talk, we just figured something nice and the, clean the palate. Hey, yeah, that, that, that yeah. was... Okay, how is this not... How are they not arrested? I think it's because it's Canada. And I think you can legally do that. Emily, can you look up the name of that guy? No. Try to, how? Could, could you, <laughs> like, uh, what are you going to search? I don't know, yeah. Could name of up? guy who get bit by horse on back when fucking horse. What's the name of the documentary? It's like it's NB. An Animal Passions is what it's Animal called. Passions cast. Could you There's no way. Real life. What? Uh, I'm curious on the year that this became illegal. I, I mean, I've admittedly seen that video too many times. Mm -hmm. I you remember you were quoting it <laughs> while it was happening. Well, JRHMBR is just a <laughs> mile a minute. And I'm like, oh. And I went, oh? <laughs> does, does, now, She's going to come out and watch. <laughs> and she says, well, i got to come out and watch. This is, I'm curious about this. Uh, does your wife find these videos funny as well, or is she upset that you uh, like them? My wife hate, 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 hates all the videos. That's good. She has seen JRHMBR a lot. She knows she she can recognize the appeal of JRHMBR. Luke forces her to watch it before they have sex. It's yeah. I'm like I can't get going. You stack a pretty woman up in a pretty mare? <laughs> I'll take, take the, the mare. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like the best. But something about that documentary about how like disarming they had to have been to be like, please talk very freely about this illegal yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They need to be neutered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Do you, would, you, would you guys want to get into some characters? Yeah. Already? Yeah. Huh? I don't know. I feel like I feel like we got we're, we're gonna have more today. You got some juices flowing. Yeah, that you, that really unlocks some stuff for me mentally and physically. Gonna all do right. A, <laughs> all right. I got a character. Mine's not. <coughs> it's okay. All right. Yeah. D glass. D glass. Got to pull it up here. Mm, so exciting. Taking a quick break to talk about game time. I'm stressed out every day of my life, and buying tickets for events is only making that. Worse. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be that stressful because there's game time, okay? What the heck? What's there's game just, time, Liam? Uh, what, explain this magic to me. Imagine you can forget planning months in advance. Okay. And just use game time, which has the deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. You're, okay? you, you're lying. It's, it's the fastest growing ticketing app in the country for a reason, obviously. You get images of your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect. So snag the tickets without the stress with game time. <laughs> what's, the, what's the catch? It's almost too good to be true. There's no catch, you fuck! Download the game time app and create an account and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Let's get back into the episode. I have a lot of really half-baked ones. Good. Yeah, mm, this are, I'm going to say, I'm, I'll, I'll say this right now. The worst batch I've ever come, <laughs> I, I, the least prepared, worst batch. <laughs> so, okay, this I'm Carl Starch. Nice, good, and Get away. I'm gonna I'm gonna start this one off with Liam. Okay, okay. I'm Carl Starch. Um, you're one of those firefighters in full gear on the stairmaster on 9/11. You oh, know that like they. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I've had it. You've had it with what? Quit quit virtue signaling what? right now. You don't. Are you? Pro 9 11? 
Yeah. What the heck? We no. hated that junk. What does never forget? That was one of my least junk. favorite things to ever okay. happen. I thought it was twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to edit a 9-11 clip and put it up. Well, then put... Oh my god, everyone in the comments is going to be like, Emily, you're so brave for standing up. Well, link the Wikipedia so that they know what you're talking about. Because some people don't know what 9-11 is. That's Liam, true. explain 9-11, Emily. So I'm like, you don't even know what the character's about yet. Okay, go. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's anti 9 11. It's very, it's because that shit. <laughs> too twisted. So it's just too <laughs> twisted. All right, so you're on the Stairmaster. You got your headphones on. You put your headphones on. Are you going to be done soon? I'm what? What do you do? Are you lo- what are you doing here? Are you lost? I'm this is I'm doing this in honor. Clearly I'm doing this in honor of of 9/11. Of what? I'm dressed in full gear. Yeah. I lost brother. I'm like what well, you should probably be at the fire station, buddy. You lost? <laughs> you guys hear that? What is 9-11? Is this for in, is this for Instagram? Is this one of those workout channels? What is it? What is 9-11? It's it was it's a national fucking tragedy. And I'm doing this in honor of the th- hundreds of firemen lost that day. Oh shit. My bad. Sorry. Did you not know what not? Fuck. God fucking Jesus. Holy fuck. (laughs) Holy fuck. I just looked it up. That's insane. You've not. That's insane. When did this happen? Oh my God. Please leave me alone. Holy shit. No way. This morning that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. Dude, did you see this? Yeah, yeah, I did see it. That's insane. How many people died? Thousands. Are you going to be done soon? I'm going home. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. Sucks. G- guy that doesn't know about 9-11. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody about this. People got to know. Holy crap, that junk was messed up. That Don't was too those? twisted. People got a right to know about this to happen. <laughs> um, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Too. I just like the image of the guy and the Stairmaster <laughs> and someone having no idea that that what the hell that is about. I forgot about that for a second. And then I was like, oh, they d- I forgot that I forgot people that do that. that. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. It's for, uh, uh, it's just for, it's for clicks. Yeah, it's for clout. Yeah, it's for likes. Emily's trying to pretend she's super horrified. Well, here's the thing. I'm the guy that's doing that 365 days a year <laughs> be- to sweat more because I'm trying to make it into the squad. They won't let me because I'm too short. Emily, what are your thoughts? Did you like it, Emily? You know what? What? I just, I think it's, I... What? I think I just you know when when nine eleven comes every year, mm-hmm. it's just a really sad time. Yeah, you lost a lot of friends and family. There's a, there's a there's a period of time in which I don't think those jokes are acceptable. My mom and dad had cancer, but it was not nine eleven related at all. It was totally <laughs> different. From alcohol abuse, probably. Yeah, they both are hit the hit the booze. Hat. Dude, Luke, that's too twisted, man. That's too relax. Is that I didn't know that was real. I, you were you were. You had done, you mentioned that. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, that is real? My parents have had cancer, but it ended up not being even 9 11 had anything to do with it. Well, now I feel a little silly. Yeah. I, honestly, my dad had cancer and he had nothing to do with any national tragedy. It's just like not taking care of himself. 
Yeah, my dad called. I called my dad on this uh, Father's Day, and this is real. I called him up on the phone, and I said, "Hey, Dad, Happy Father's Day!" And he cut me off, and he said, "I have diabetes." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "What?" He's like, "I got diabetes. I can't eat pasta or anything." <laughs> spitzel. He specifically referenced that he wasn't going to be able to eat spitzel. <laughs> <laughs> what is spitzel? It's like a German. But potato pasta or something. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm just like, yeah, lay off the spitzel. <laughs> you think they'll be at the shows this weekend? Oh, definitely. They're yes. going to be a, yes. violently drunk. <laughs> yes. My mom, I talked to her on, as I was driving out here. She said, please don't sing any songs about me or my privates. <laughs> 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 and I said, no promises, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Put her on the spot. Great gal. All right, I got one. All right. Um... Here, just, just make sure it's not 9 11 I got you. Please. Luke, just put yeah. the Oh, this yeah. is next to you. Next Don't, to you? Just okay. yeah, keep it there for now. Okay. Um, Let's get some soda. You're the biggest virtue signaler I've ever met. What like, does that mean? Relax. It means you're Relax. pretending to care to make it look like you're. You, that yeah. you I are. cared actually. Upset, like, that actually like ruined my mood. Yeah, 9 11 ruined my Well, I, I promise no. you. No. No, I mean it. I'm done. I'm done. No more. Okay. I have none. Then That's let's it. proceed. That's let's it. move on. That's it. I have none. At the end of the day, 9 11 is all about Emily. When you think about it, no, I'm past it. It's to me, it's nine twelve. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's actually my coping mes- mechanism to joke about it. So you're making fun of how I'm coping. Okay, and tell that to your haters. Tell it to the judge. All right, Liam, <laughs> go on. All right, Luke, uh, you are a Trunt O'Brien. Trunt. Wow. You have uh, you're you just sat down at uh, an airport bathroom toilet, cool. and the seat is still warm from the last guy that was there, and you notice that there's a note next to you and you read it. Can you feel me? (laughs) Can you feel my heat? He can see you sitting on that seat. (laughs) The ghost of my poop smiles at you from the waters beneath. Do you see God? He watches us dance. My heat moves through you. This is your chance. Don't look away. Fall into his trance. Did he sh- Do you see God? He watches us dance. Can you feel me? Can you feel my heat? <laughs> Whoa. Are you in here? <laughs> That's it. I, I enjoyed like, that. One. I like the sound a lot. Yeah, yeah. What did you, What did you search to get that? Uh, copyright free um, uh, Native American flute. I like to think. <laughs> I like to think it was one of those cards that when you open it, it plays the music for you. It sounded like a spa. <laughs> it did. Yeah. I liked it because it was a poem in a way, but I. But I mean, it did rhyme. There were some rhymes. <laughs> it did there were some rhymes? It. Dance and trance. Dance yeah. and trance. Can heat. you feel me? Can you feel my heat? heat. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a few that are. I these are these are half baked. Mm-hmm. So let's let's try this one out just to get just to get this the <coughs> motors going. Get the juices flowing. All right. Uh, my name's Sergeant Garb. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rock I on. am a recruiter for um, the U.S. Army. Okay. Uh, and you guys are coming on in to my recruiter's office, and you are going to join up. We like high schoolers? Uh, you are 18 years old to the Whoa. day. You are born yesterday. Birthday was yesterday. You're cool. 18. Fellas, good to see you. Hey. Hi. You interested in joining up? Absolutely. Yes, yes sir. Uh, it's been a dream. Yeah. Hey, what, well, Uncle Sam would love to have you. Awesome. All right, you guys look strong. Flex for me. All right. <laughs> Love that. Looking good. Looking good. Names? Recruits? Liam, sir. 
Anyway, Will, sir. Love that. Absolutely love that. I'm going to write that down here. We do keep records. Contrary to popular belief, we actually, a lot of people are pencil pushers because of their past and because of the stuff they've done. Some people are behind a desk now. Okay. Um, just going to do a couple of little things, a couple questions, just a preliminary thing. All right? And this is to let me see where you are going to be at your best in the service. All right? Yes. Based on these questions, you are going to get a placement. Okay. All right? And I'm tell you right now, this is the biggest moment of your life. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, thank yes, you. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you yes, so sir. much. Now, now, you, now, now you I like. I, yes, sir. All right? I'm going to go one by one here. Okay. Favorite band? Allison in Chains. You're going the front line. You're dead meat. What's your name? Or, you're Will? Will. Favorite band? Um, uh, Led Zeppelin. Awesome. <laughs> That's an awesome band. I'm going to write that down. Yeah. I'm not going to say this yet. I'm not going to say this yet. Uh -huh. You're going to be a general. I already know you're going to be a general. You're, you might as well be in a box. All right? I'm going to tell you that right now. Yes, sir. Alice in Chains, you might as well be in a box. You know what we call you? We call you bullet bags <laughs> in the service. Guys like you, Alice in Chains was your answer. Yes, bullet bags is what we call you. <laughs> you, Led Zeppelin, general. Yes, sir. All right? Okay. I'm sorry. I I, it was just like off the top of my head. Favorite color? Uh, uh, green. Might as well be dead already. My, might as well be knocking on your mom's door saying, here he is. Here's all that's left of him burnt to a crisp. Friendly fire. And I mean fire. Set by your friends. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sir. Loving green? What's your favorite color? Forest green. Oh, you. <laughs> no. Welcome to the service. Oh. I, that's what I was thinking in my head. Eh. That was my bit. <laughs> I liked it a lot. I like that, it. That just one of one of the guys was, was not good. <laughs> yeah, that's my recruiter bit. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, I got. I, got I like that you just forest green. <laughs> <laughs> that just made it ten times better. Yeah. And I just liked it because you didn't mention nine eleven. Not once, but it was still America pro America. <clears throat> and we and love that. And, and we love that. We love that. Why didn't you sign up after the events of September 11th? Yeah. I was 11. Right. Mm -hmm. So they weren't taking me. <laughs> you could get a fake ID. Trust me, I wanted to go. <laughs> bastards! This is, when I was watching the 9-11 news, this was me. Dude, bastards! I don't like this. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I got a, I got a call. Oh, wait, you got one? No, no, go, go, go. I have a, I have a callback to a hit Stop character. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> you look like you're about to cry. <laughs> I'm not. Well, we swore to her. All we right, were sorry, done. sorry. Well, I wasn't doing jokes, though. That was my serious reaction. Yeah, no, that's my fault, because I brought it up. That's true. We're going to blame you for that one. Just no more. I'm no, done. no more. No more. No more. Um, this is, a, this is a, uh, an actually a repeat of one of my, I'm going to say hit characters from a previous appearance. This Good. is um, uh, my spiritual medium character, Pee Pee Poo Poo Jackson. <laughs> and uh, in this scenario, this is an all play. This is an all play. <gasps> Looking at you. Thank you. I am uh, I'm a spiritual medium, and I'm doing a reading, a group reading, kind of if you've ever heard of crossing over with uh, John Edwards, where he would talk to like a whole packed mm. room of people. That's kind of um, this scenario. So you guys are attending a... a uh, this is where he's like, I'm getting John, John. That's right. Okay, that's what gotcha. I'm going to do gotcha. in, in a moment. <sighs> Thank you for coming, everyone here. Thank you so much for coming. Ooh, ooh. This room has experienced loss. <laughs> now that I can feel. Right, right over here, right over here. I'm getting, I'm getting a, I'm getting a, a D name, maybe a Deirdre, a, maybe a, a mother figure. Someone is this? Was your mother? Mother. Well, your, what's your mother's name? Does it start with a D? Uh, Diane. Diane. I'm that's what I'm getting. I'm getting Diane right now. Mm. Diane is coming through as clear as a picture. A crystal, wow. A crystal clean picture is what I'm getting right now. Diane is here in spirit. Um, wow. She says, "What's up." I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a, a, maybe a P name, a Peter. Um, yeah. Um, so she's just, she's just said, she, she just said, what's up? Diane? Your mom, Your Diane? Mom? She just said, what's up? Oh, and could, I was, could, I, could I talk to her maybe? 
I'm getting a P name over Peter, here. Peter, Peter, you got Peter. it. Yeah, it's Peter. So it's my Peter. Dad. Uh, uh, so uh, this is maybe uh, someone someone close to you, close right? My father. Uh, Diane's just smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Diane's just smoking a cigarette. She just gave you. A, she's just doing this right now. Can, can you? Can I? So can I Peter says you? the money. The money is that? Does that mean yeah, anything? Yeah, to you? yeah. Mm. He lost a lot of money before he he died. See, that's and then and that's coming through, and I'm getting that from him. Peter is here with us. Diane's still here. She's just hanging. She's hanging. Can I say? Can I get her a message? Absolutely. What would you like for me to do? Uh, Mom, I love you so much. I miss you. Um, and, you know, me and, me, and the, me and the sisters, you know, my brothers and sisters, we love you. We miss you so much. She says, dope. Um, so I'm getting, I'm getting a Z name over here. A Z, a Z name. Maybe Zelda or... Uh, uh, I'm not, I don't know. Um, and, it's oh. and it's gone. And it's gone and it's in hell. And it's gone and it's in oh. hell. Sometimes that's good no. because it's better for a spirit to cross over to their final destination than live in between worlds. Your mom, Diane, she's just hanging out. Could, could she's you, just kind of hanging out. She's still here? She's kind of here. She's standing right beside you. She's on her phone. <laughs> she's you, on her phone. Could you tell my father that I love him as well? <coughs> Is your father Peter? Peter? Yeah. Um, <sighs> he says he's proud of you. He says he's proud of you. <sighs> Can you ask my mom if she's proud of me? Let me ask you. She's 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 playing Candy Crush right now. She's not really responding when I'm going to her. I'm going to her with that. What she's coming back with me is is she's kind of giving me a kind of give me give me a minute kind of thing. Like and she's finishing a level. Can she not pass over? She can't. Can she not cross over? Why is she still in between? She just put in a lip of dip. <laughs> 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 that's, that's awesome <laughs> the spirit that doesn't really acknowledge <laughs> I, I, yeah. dope spirit, dope 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 she's on her phone she's on her phone she doesn't really dope. she's not really into talking to you <laughs> i enjoyed that pee pee poo jackson yeah i miss pee pee poo poo the good old days no um are you guys done with characters i i have a i have a segment <coughs> uh this is a new segment called uh Scenes I would add to Harry Potter. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, I and, like that. And I do, I'm, I'm saving one character for, for later. Mm. Oh, Excellent. good. Okay, perfect. I, dude, I thought of a great scene. I was really happy with it. Okay, ready? But do you want to kick off? Yes. Um, mm. A Slytherin girl makes fun of Ron Weasley for having red pubes. <laughs> okay. What's the scene? Wait, do we act it out? I oh, thought we I thought, just oh, shared I, it. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought we were just sharing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought of oh, I did you, you the way you said it. I thought you were setting it up. Oh no, that's just that's no, just yeah. no. I thought you were gonna be like listing them off back and forth. I, I like that. Well, one. once it's out there, once you tell us what's up with it, is we kind of know, you know, like if anything, we want to see. The yeah, views. I have one in a similar vein. Cool. You guys remember Goblet of Fire? Yeah, big fan. Peter Pettigrew grabs Voldemort and throws him in the cauldron. Yeah, because he's the little half. Say the name around me, by the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Vimo. Vimo. So he grabs Vimo, throws him in a little cauldron. I want a scene before this happens in Goblet of Fire where Vimo's on the toilet as the fetus boy and Peter Pettigrew has to help him off the toilet and wipe. <laughs> and just a scene where he's really frustrated because he doesn't have full strength. And he's just like, I can't. Peter, I can't. I can't reach it. And he's like really embarrassed. And Peter Pettigrew has to put him on one of those baby the baby fold out things in a public bathroom and he has to he has to wipe down the Lord of Darkness. <laughs> I, I, we, I know you can hold it. <laughs> you, I know you're able to hold it. Carries him around with those little, little baby things on the front of his chest. Yeah. The baby Bjorn. Yeah, he's got his little, little... With he who shall not be named. His gray legs hanging out and kicking. He's getting really angry. What, what about being so evil makes you not have a bridge of your nose? That's, That's a, a good question. point. I don't know. Question. Um, What's question. It's the loudest point. It's hope, a kind of a loud plane. I hope that's not. That's a crow. You know, a Harry Potter no, scene. No. No. Hey. No. Hey, mister. So bad. Sorry, Give a trigger sorry. warning for Emily next time. Sorry, Emily. Luke? I had an idea of a scene that should have been in Harry Potter that was not. And that is early on. What? The? Sorry, he keeps looking at me. Well, he's worried about you. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. I was thinking... Early on in Harry Potter, we we are introduced to a terminology of called a mudblood. Yes, which means 
a witch or a wizard has fucked a human man or woman and impregnated them with... I, basically, I want to see at what point are we done at Hogwarts and we're like, all right, you work at the at USPS now and you <laughs> fuck normal women and have magic come that you Wingardium Leviosa and Aloha Mora, her pussy lips wide open and just absolutely wreck a human woman with your magic dick. And then we're just supposed to accept that... To me, that feels fucked up. That yeah. like, what do you mean you're having sex with non magic people? Yeah, uh, that is a strange one. Especially, it's like how do you, how were you, were you exiled from the university? It means you probably got kicked out if you're like fucking a girl, as you know, at a bar. You were shunned. <laughs> yeah, that's really sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're a magic. You are you. You know what I mean? Like you played Quidditch <laughs> at a collegiate <laughs> level, and now you're just having sex at Hooters or something. And it's like just getting DUIs. It, but yeah, you got a DUI. Yeah, it bummed me out because also, do the babies of people who are born from humans like mm-hmm. Hermione is a mud blood, mm-hmm. but she's like. Great at magic, mm-hmm. right? It doesn't make you less good at magic. Does does it is right? it random who gets powers? I don't know. I remember in Wizards Wizards of Waverly Place, mm-hmm. they're all they're mudbloods. Yeah, they I are. believe yeah. the the dad is a wizard. Also, mudblood feels hella racist. Yeah. It's def- I, I, I think, think it's meant to be. It's intense. I'm like, ooh. I, I don't think the way her. they treat it is actually like supposed to be the n word. I, it, in it, the Harry Potter world, it definitely is thrown around in the book with some like sting. You're yeah, like, Ooh, filthy little mud. Yeah, mud. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, yeah, coming from that Aryan dude. Oh, Draco. Muggle though, cute. Yeah. Muggles like mm-hmm. Muggles like you're cute, but then like y- a lot of them are going out and having sex with them. You're like putting down regular Geeks. people as Muggles, and then you're going in and magic jizzing your, your way right through them. It's probably a, a fetish category on Pornhub for wizards. I'd be like re- uh, yeah. mud bloods. That'd be if like uh, Mudblood gets dominated by <laughs> S- Slytherin. Like if, if students, Muggle <laughs> absolutely comes through. <dude>, but <laughs> if like a, a Harvard graduate just started banging a special needs person, <laughs> yeah, essentially, it feels a little bit like is is there an ethical line that we're drawing when well, you're having yeah. sex with like <clears throat> I don't know? They've got like love potions and stuff, so yeah, there's big time ethical problems. Like remember, there's a girl she like falls in love with Ron or something or other way around. Oh yeah, puts the the love lo- potion. gets the love potion going on and it, it goes haywire. It does. I mean, well, honestly, it's pretty twisted. It's pretty twisted. Or you could be freaking moaning Myrtle and be trapped in a girl's shitter your entire f- eternity. You know? Yeah. She's a ghost that's locked in the bathroom crying forever, having to listen to girls pee and poop. Yeah, she plays like a way bigger role in the books. I heard. Is that is that right? You guys Never book read readers? Them. Never read them. <laughs> I should. All right. What's your other scene? Huh? Oh, I had one. <laughs> you said come with two. Oh, sorry. Should we have a chat later? Sorry. Did I say that? I said one or two. Yeah, mine was just moaning Myrtle, listening to everyone and shit. Wait, I and think then, uh, magic uh, wizards and witches having sex with regular people <laughs> and Mo- then having their children. Moni, uh, moaning Myrtle, listening to bulimic students. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so, yeah, I won't do the voice. Um, she just have a funny voice. I was thinking a scene where one of the kids from Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw snaps. Yeah, because they're kind of ah, not. They're kind of yeah. in the background. They're like, I oh, wonder, like yeah. I wonder if you could re-edit a couple scenes in Harry Potter to make it seem like a school shooting. Yeah, what's your... So, Probably. So we're, now they're going in an active shooter direction to you. Is that worse? So, see, now I'm just tuning it out because right. there's no stopping. So I don't really know what they just said. What are your thoughts on the, you know, active shooting, like mass shooters and stuff? What do you think about mass shooters? Personally, personally I'm against it. Wait, anti. I mean, same. I'm anti. You were saying before that you were like... No. You think, you think gun, no. guns aren't the problem? Is what you're no. saying off camera? No. And I'm going to go ahead and say this, and I don't care who in the comments section is going to come at me if over it. Oh, I think no. genocide is bad. 100% think. of the time. You know what I'm I think? with a broad stroke here. You know what I think about Chats. genocide? That junk? That junk is twisted. twisted. <laughs> That's so I just twisted. figured out what you guys are doing. I was doing it wrong the whole time. I'm just, I'm learning from the best. I'm learning from the best. Guys, I, I feel bad that I should have done this character earlier because I want to do that, my one character that I wanted to have a clipboard for. Do it now. What's the... Oh, oh, I thought the last one was the one you needed a clipboard for. No, it's this one. Do it. It's going to be so good. 
it's not. Ooh. All right, here we go. Taking a quick break to talk to you about Quip, okay? Good health starts with good habits. Quip makes it easy by delivering the all the oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth just right to you. They got an electric toothbrush. I've been using it. It's fucking awesome. It's got timed sonic vibrations with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean a lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down okay. even guys like me can figure out how to use it even guys like will and look here i am using it look how sleek and slender it looks oh my gosh i like the design skip the batteries and snap right into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush all the features of the original quip plus one magnetic Charge powers up to three months of brushing. That's insane. I like how it all works. I'll just, yeah, I like how it works. If you go to getquip.com slash almost Friday right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser, getquip.com slash almost Friday, spelled Will. G E T Q U I P dot com slash almost Friday. Quip, the good habits company. Now yeah. Let's Okay, I'm so this is my this is my this is my character that I that I was excited. About. Okay, we're pretending this is a clipboard. All right, so so I am Nurse Nathan, mm-hmm. and I'm coming into a, a waiting room at a clinic. You guys are there. I'm holding a clipboard. This is a clipboard. Can't okay, Are we? Do we know each other? You guys know each other. Your names are Ben and Matt, but I don't know that. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, hey, I'm Nurse Nathan. Uh, I'm really sorry. I was just going over the, the entrance form. You did a little questionnaire. You yeah. filled this out. And I'm, I really, I cannot, I cannot make out the name at the top. It's so squiggly. It's freaking chicken scratch. Just, <laughs> this is, it's tough to read. I just, down in the reason for visit box, mm-hmm. it says, Whenever I sneeze, my whole butthole inverts itself like all my guts and ass me shoot out of my bunghole and hang down like a pink and brown luxury handbag. And this whoever whoever is here because so whichever one of you two guys on the yeah. form wrote Whenever I fart, my rectum prolapses so hard that it looks like my ass blew and popped bubblegum all over itself. And I'm just reading whatever you guys wrote. The doctor is ready to see whoever wrote down, if I do even a small little toot, it looks like I'm sitting on a deflated exercise ball and it stays that way until I forcibly jam my digestive tract back up inside my fun hole. It's weird. I can, I'm reading all this fine. The name I cannot. And I usually have to get a handful of colon tissue and punch it back into my ass, but then s- sometimes my fist gets st- stuck in there, kind of like when you try to get the last Pringle out of the bottom of a Pringles can. Also, my little Might itty bitty me. tiny penis is bright green like Shrek. Is that bad? I think that's that Matt. Matt. That's one of you guys. That's yeah, Matt. It's, that's me. I wrote Matt. Oh, it's Matt at it's the top. Snugger. You write your M's weird. <laughs> I don't feel good about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good about that. No, not one. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah, I like that a lot. That was great. Shout out to my friend Joe. I workshopped that one. <laughs> 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 he said, yeah, yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I do. One where I'm like a guy who's... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know, you know what I was actually trying to retell Will, that I, but I butchered it, is that David Cross hotel art joke you told me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. How does that one go? Yeah, yeah. You know what the people want is my retelling of a <laughs> David Cross <laughs> bit from 1998. <laughs> <laughs> he said something like, he's like, uh, he's at the airport and he sees, he's like, when you're at the airport and you see a nice piece of wall art, I mean, that's, that's where you want your art to be hung, I mean. <laughs> Maybe a better place would be, I don't know, inside a bum's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he calls him, he used the term bum. I know it's outdated, funny. but I think bum is funny. Um, I was going to, this weekend in Colorado, because when, we when we were in Seattle, mm-hmm. we couldn't help but notice that every woman in mm-hmm. Seattle is tatted up, and they're the worst tattoos I've ever seen. 
And uh, Seattle too. Everyone's got yeah, the, like, the Seattle's way worse. But there was one in Colorado where I was alone in a bathroom, and a man walked in, a grown man, in his late thirties to early forties, and he had a few Avengers tattoos. And I, you know, put whatever you want on your body. I felt the most unsafe <laughs> I've ever felt alone with another man. Did he have the Captain America shield? I'm not kidding you. He had the A. Like, uh-huh. just the straight-up Avengers A. Yeah, and kind then of a vanilla. I, I could see some other ones. I think there was a... It's like wearing an NFL hat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not picking a team. You're yeah. just like, I just support the evil <laughs> <laughs> at large. And I just, I knew that if, if he had the opportunity, he'd put shit in my, my butt. I knew he would. Not even his, not not even himself. I think he'd just be like, "I want to, I want to live." How in many there. Ticonderoga, how many Ticonderoga pencils can I get in this kid's ass? Ticonderoga pencils, yeah. 30, 30, 40 probably. You can really get a bunch in there. If we're talking about not depth only, but it, at, at once, where you're still visibly able to see all mm-hmm. like the erasers, probably yeah. like thirty. I, I, yeah, I'd give myself Maybe 30. 20. I don't know. 30 yeah. feels like a lot now. <laughs> I don't know how much you can take, my boy. Were these tattoos, were they colored tattoos? Yep. I really, That's I really, I'm not kidding. I, They'll I, age well. Tummy hurts. I, I felt so nervous. I was like, he a big guy? No. I mean, he was a no, very normal sized dude. Uh-huh. Very nervous, though. I was like. When we were in Seattle, everybody that came to the show either looked like they were like a tech weirdo who like no longer had human feet or (laughs) (laughs) they just like they were part robot okay uh we did perform right down the street from the um nft museum Uh, nice did you go in no we just we just looked at it and went oh no (laughs) it felt bad and then everyone else that came to the show that wasn't a tech person they were just full sleeve tatted out and looked like they were in a like a basis for a noise rock band and that Honestly, I dug them more than the weird, than the foot replacers. Yeah. So I'm like, leave me some feet meat. I see everyone has those like upside down forest tattoos on their arm. Oh, yeah. Even Billy has that one. Oh, yeah. Billy's got that one. That's yeah. a staple. That's a classic. What that mean? What that is? Uh, the trees. The trees coming down <laughs> signify. It's like signifying like new life, rebirth, like growth cycle. The water cycle. Is this all going over your head or did you have. Me not so mart. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing. It. I'm going different away. This guy's fucking silly. I'm a, today. I'm feeling a little twisted. I'm about to shoot myself. I just realized, like, what 9/11 in was. 30 seconds into your story, that I definitely have a parking ticket. Uh, oh, no. I thought you were going to say you stopped. You didn't record. Morning. I no. so thought you were about we to say. We need to redo it. We what need do I do? Who wants? No, no, Joe, it? dude. I've. Tyler and Joe have left their cars out there for eight hours. At sometimes, like, don't, no ticket. Well, yeah, you know a, what? If you I know have what? a ticket, I'm starting a GoFundMe for the, and to sending it to this podcast. So you know what? Work. I'm divorcing my wife now. Yeah, good job, Emily. Good right. job. I actually have something to show you guys. Though. Did you get what Ooh. you wanted? Ooh, Emily has something to show. I have, I have something, something to show, show you, Luke. Yeah, it's my new favorite thing on TikTok. I like that. Oh yeah. Can I pull up what I was going to show? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. So yeah. you know how we had that email a while ago for people to submit. Like videos, anything they wanted to submit. Yeah, I recently had to go on that to like for a login thing. Mm-hmm. Was it dark? And I, first of all, there's a shit ton of emails. People are still emailing us, even though we don't promote that email anymore. <coughs> but I found something that I knew you guys would cut that love. part. People are just might as well ride it onto a fucking balloon and let it go. <laughs> That's, but literally, I think she's encouraging them to stop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, I just let's, thought you guys would like this. Yeah. I don't know if you can read, but I'll just read it out loud. Okay, yeah. so he just sent us a video. Just a bunch of racial His name's slurs. Colin. He's actually, <laughs> he's actually submitted a video to our Patreon before, but... Cool. So we've seen him cool before. Beans. Okay. All right. All and, you've right. Wa- and you've watched this. Yes, I have. Honestly, right away, right away, the kind of person who I think subscribes to y'all's Patreon, if I could build them in a creative character, <laughs> would be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. He okay. seems like a nice guy. <laughs> Handsome cat. Well, Handsome I'll, guy. Let's see though, what he has to he's say. He's a working man. Look, he's got his collared shirt on. He's got his sleeves rolled up to show off those big juicy buys. That's right. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I genuinely thought. I did. That's where that my eyes went part first. of the sleeve. He's, no way he's natty. No way he's natty. <laughs> that. that guy's on gear. Homie's juicing. Too yoked. Okay. Probably cycling. Ready? Friend. Yeah. 
Hello, Will and Liam. This is Colin again. And today I have a question slash show and tell. So about six years ago, my grandpa died, rest in peace. And one of his parting gifts to me was his collection of kidney stones that he accrued oh throughout the years Jesus. of having digestive issues. I'll send a picture so you can get a better look at them. Thank you. Um, uh. But basically my question is, do you plan on collecting yours and raffling it off to a viewer? Do you plan on giving it to your kids, grandkids? Um, basically what's going to happen with your kidney stones? Because I would love to be the recipient of Will and Liam kidney stones. <laughs> So I knew where this was going. I yeah, did too. Let me know. Let me know what's going to happen with them. I'm going to put mine guys, into guys, guys. an infinity gauntlet. Can someone explain to me exactly what a kidney stone is? It's right now? calcium buildup in your urine, and, and you then have piss you have out. to piss it out. So it's like pissing so out. These marbles. chunks have came out of his grandfather's penile hole. His dick. It, it would be Ooh. like I believe it's his like dick. some sort of equivalent of giving birth. Probably not. As oh, they say it's. As it's, they say it's like as painful as. Look at those chunks. It's also fuck. That's like granola. Yeah, it does, dude. I kind of want to bite down as hard as I can. (laughs) See if it hurts my teeth. Or if if it's soft, like (laughs) rice. I if I can go my whole life without ever having to pass a kidney stone, I call it a life well lived. (laughs) Dude, they do a they they can do a thing where they use like vibrations and sound waves to break it down. You piss out the dust. But, like, some people just do it. Just yeah. piss it out. So is there a way, like, do random people get kidney stones? Or is there yes. a way to, like, avoid it? Like, how do If you... you drink a lot of beer, I know that's one they, way. They say tea I'm drinkers, too. Like, if you drink a lot of, like, a diuretic that makes you pee a lot, beer, tea, they say that that, like, leaves a buildup of uh, a little bit of calcium, which over time, <sighs> and then it just hits you when you're at your best boy's, you know... Yeah. graduation ceremony and then you're in the bathroom screaming bloody murder praying <laughs> for the sweet release of death because a rock is coming out of your dick hole and it's coming yeah. out a real slow and it's jagged emily look up like kidney stone shapes you're you wanna, are i don't no it's fine it's it's gonna be know? like diagrams i haven't but my i it, i think there is like genetic predisposition they're like to rocks them. go to images i don't i i don't wow i can literally like i like that he said it look so how sure that you would have them like not everyone gets kidney stones. Right? I know, dude. You are fucked if you're if someone They're related to you. <laughs> if someone related to you had those, oh, that's in your down. genes, and you might have those. You're you, fucked. You know what I bet exists? Look up kidney stone jewelry. Oh, now that now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. My dad had pancreatic cancer, and his tumor <laughs> was a golf ball size. And when it when they took it out, he was like, "Do I get to keep it?" And they're like, "No, it's medical waste." And he was like, <sighs> "That's my golf ball. I, I, <laughs> I made that. that. I grew that." <laughs> I should be able to keep it. His name is Nathan. His name is Nathan. Oh, You're so only pe- yeah, yeah. People did. That teammates. sucks. Of course they did. That, oh, look at the ring. Jesus Christ! But why did he say it so sure? Like you guys had discussed that you had. Like he was like, Will and Liam. When you absolutely <laughs> have your kidney, have your kidney stones. stones, can I have them? He yeah, said, honestly, I, sure. I, I will if I ever have one. He gets it. Yeah, Colin, you get it. <laughs> you get to have it. Oh I want to know, Colin, are some of those years or are those all? Grandpas, Pop-ups. you know what I mean. And Those are from his victims. I, I just don't understand why he was collecting them because you do know that when you you have to pee it out. So, isn't it probably going into the toilet and then he has to like dig into the toilet to get it and then he's yep. collecting them? And why is he giving it to his grandson? Well, that uh, is a pretty rad thing. Like the only thing my keeps... grandpa ever gave me was bad memories of seeing his dick on our trip to <laughs> <home> more. <laughs> Sorry, grandpa. I did. I saw. Him, I saw him changing. Probably an angry looking cock. He laughed it off. It wasn't like a traumatic memory. It was more just like, oh, that was bad. <laughs> you see his colostomy bag kind of flopping around? He wasn't that old yet. He was pretty vivacious. Oh, pretty, that's pretty awesome. Pretty good hog on him. <coughs> did it, look, did okay. it look like yours, or do you think you inherited your other grandfather's I think I got. I think I got something similar. He's only a fourth of my DNA, right? Your grandpa. So, yeah, about a fourth of his dong is my dong. My dong is his dong, his dong is my dong. dong. From the New York Island to the New York Islands to the New York Islands to the Pittsburgh Mountains. My dong is your just similar to my grandpa's. Um, he's got enough there that he could bedazzle something with his. He could with his <laughs> stones. Yeah. It would bedazzle his, his GF's purse, girlfriend. Now, what would happen if you ate kidney stones? You, Does your body process them, or do you sh- just poop out 
the pebbles again. You live forever. No, you don't poop them yet. You piss them. That would be fucked up. If you, like, for some reason, it can tell, like, send this through piss. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, it, I guess it does. Your body is like, holy Send fuck. this to the piss chute. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Piss coated. Yeah. Sorry that this is the day you had to find out that that's going to happen to you so, at some point. What are people emailing you guys? Why are people, yeah. what is that? I don't know. That's something that the, the that's something the filter didn't catch. I said, <laughs> yeah, we said that like made send it us anything. Okay, well then you get what you asked for. Hey, send us just send us like ten or fifteen of those. Dude, now I gotta pee and I'm scared. Did you um, ever, have you ever injured your um have ever had an injury to your penis or your balls? No. No, I knew a kid that did, but he had testicular torsion, but I never My roommate Lumpy had that. Oh, Lumpy? Lumpy. Nice. Yeah, Lumpy. Shout out to Lump. Have you injured Lump yours? Lump still skin. When I was in eighth grade, I skipped youth group to skateboard with my boys, and I uh, racked myself on a handrail and tore my scrotum open. Oh. Uh, and I didn't want to lie. I So it wasn't like... I probably should have got stitches, mm-hmm. but I did... T- like, I, I like hurt my nuts, and all my friends were laughing at me, and I'm like, I am sweating. <laughs> so bad and i reached my hand down my pants and as soon as i pulled it out and saw what was up i was like <gasps> and then my nut was like peeking no i and i was so scared of lying to my parents to uh skip youth group and smoke cigs by the freaking five stair that i didn't tell them what happened i went to my friend's house and we butterfly bandaged my nutsack like back together, like we folded my nutsack skin over like this. No, that's when being a Boy Scout comes in handy. So mm-hmm. I would like closed it up, stopped bleeding, yeah. and then I just was like, I to this day I'm like, can I have kids? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so d- you never got it looked at. I never went. I was so scared to tell oh, my parents that I had man. lied like, that I never went to the hospital. No way, tearing my nutsack. I had a. I have a like the scar is pretty much gone now because that happened when I was like eighth grade maybe but yeah my wife likes to be like all those times when we probably should have had a kid on accident she blames my skateboard accident i never <laughs> skated again that was it for me that's Shit. crazy r.i.p my nuts dude that's the r.i.p injury it hurt there was this one kid in uh, eighth grade who got tackled he like wasn't wearing a cup he was just wearing underwear Got tackled. One of his nuts got pushed inside, and they had to surgically pull it out of his waist. No. No. <laughs> I really don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. No, not one bit. Not one bit. They say, though, that tucking, like if you're like doing like a drag show, that you can push your nuts back up in. And I'm like, no. Can you? Uh, that, there's, there's crevices. I don't think you, you could probably push them in. You can't get them back out, though. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> plug your nose. And blow. <laughs> Dude, there was more cough, t- right? I don't know. One time, my brother uh, was mad at me or something, and I was bending over to pick up like a football or something. I think, and he got like a good running start to a full punt into my balls, and for an hour and a half, it would come in waves, and it would feel like I was pissing my pants, but I wasn't, and it was just like writhing like puking type of pain pain and i, I it was was he immediately like uh oh yeah I, but, I poked a bear oh i mean i'm sure you beat him to death you Late, walloped him it was, it was delayed it was a delayed thing uh my brother's four years younger than me and Same. so i always won the fight i'm undefeated in all fights but one time he was fucking with me he went out our back door in the middle of winter in cincinnati it was snowing out and I was in my boxers, and he doubled around the house and locked me out of the house in the winter in my boxers. And I was looking at him through the window, and he's like in there, and he's like, <laughs> like he's like really soaking it up. And I was just like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> like when I when I get back in there, mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill you. And then when I got back in, I did. I'm gonna rip these pants. I did a freaking high kick on him. And it, I felt something into his click. jaw, right yeah. in his mouth. I felt something click, 
and he went into the couch and then behind the couch knocked over our um like our key bowl that our mom made when she was uh, had cancer so we i broke the cancer oh. by, by fucking kicking jake in the face so and then immediately i was like that was too much you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? like i did a full rough kick right in his yeah i felt something clear oh one time uh i got that home was bad i got home sorry from, jake <laughs> from a pop warner po- football practice and uh i like had a really tight under armor shirt on yep. and i walked in my sister and then my gut was peeking out of it and she laughed at me <laughs> because i had cellulite as a boy <laughs> <laughs> and she said things to me so i started chasing her around and uh leave her alone and she threw a jacket behind her i slipped on it fell split my knee open like 19, nine, 19 stitches gnarly right here, oh. could immediately see Bone? my patella oh, and fuck. we just like panicked dad tried to pick me up saw my knee <coughs> passed out dropped me so that was another oh. thing and then we drove to the hospital and got stitched up but on the way to the hospital uh my dad was like well i i hope i certainly hope you don't get a bacteria Flesh eating d- disease <laughs> that that travels to your heart and kills well, you. Why would he nice. say that? And I was like, "What? Gnarly. Why? Don't, he's just pouring gas on the fire. Yeah. Like, this could be worse. This will get worse for you on here on out. You didn't, it, but no lasting damage didn't hurt your muscle or anything, right? No, just stitched me up. Ugh, I watched <laughs> him do it. They gave me numbing shots, and I watched. It. Ooh, it oh, that's kind of spooky. It's fucking crazy. One time I broke my finger. Punch. My brother was in a defensive stance like this, and he was he was he always was. This, he was the kind of kid where I'm like, hey, Jake, I have a sunburn on my neck. Please don't touch my neck. Like the first thing he would do would be mm-hmm. like, come touch my neck. And I'm like, I'm going to win. You're going to be the one crying, you know, when we were kids. But yeah, one time I was trying to punch him and I punched his kneecap and fucking Ooh. broke my finger. And then he, that, he counts that as a win, as a fight win. Yeah. Which I'm like, I guess that's a win. I remember my brother and my older brother and older sister were like making fun of me for something. And so, like, I was like, I fucking had it. Where, and where I, are you age wise with them? Uh, I'm four years younger than brother, five younger than the sister. Middle child. Yeah. And um, checks out. I I was like, I'm I'm coming at the king. I'm gonna take my shot. And I wound up, and I threw a punch through his chest, bounced off him, didn't hurt, hurt my hand so bad, started crying, and their laughter was like. It was like the, the Joker's laughter all. echoing through the house, and I was like, "I hate you." Like, that, that you're, attempt, I'm gonna kill you. You hurting yourself? Yeah, I did. That was the same shit when I punched my brother's kneecap and hurt myself. He, him, just howling with joy. Yeah, that I had hurt myself trying oh, to punch him. Horrific. I remember one time there we had a babysitter, and I was in a fight with my brother, and I was like, "I want to see how far I can get, like, what I can get away with with this babysitter." <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. So he's just sitting on the couch, like playing Xbox. She was just looking at him. And you I just, shot him in the back of the head. No, I just walked up and I punched him as hard as I could in the back of his head. <laughs> what the fuck? You're, you're, you're a bro- psycho. Your brother? Dude, every I was just like, story I was Liam like, tells me from when he was a kid. Oh, <laughs> when we were on the road, he was telling me some good ones. <laughs> I was like, dude, wow, so you're, a, you're Jackal and Hyde, dude. I stabbed him with a pencil one time <laughs> uh, by accident. I, it, it, this was truly an accident. But like I was like doing like we were fake fighting with pencils and shit. And I just like went like this, and I poked him right here, and he still got a little black mark from the pencil right by his eye. And it could have wow. been really bad. My brother got a Reese's piece stuck in his nose. My brother got a Cheeto stuck in his nose. Wow. That's tougher though, because the Reese's pieces got just me- eventually oh, melted. melts. Okay, and yeah. so he just had yummy snot. <laughs> but a Cheeto, that's like yummy, yummy. You gotta get that out. Yeah, they had to pull it out. Oof. Also. Um, I think this is the my favorite story. Like we had these uh, this train set. Did you guys have these like wooden blocks called like Brio blocks? Did you ever have those? No, I didn't. It was a train set, uh, and the the pieces. Oh, sorry, sorry, my, talking my, about? my both my parents had jobs. I didn't play with wooden trains. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I had a PS2 fucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something called Time Splitters Two with a memory card. I'm not having as much fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having the fun time anymore. Yeah, well, tell us about your blocks. Okay, we well, we would play this game. We didn't actually like build the trains where like we would divide up the pieces and we called them Brio Wars mm-hmm. and we would huck them at each other. Yeah. And like I took one of the big tunnel pieces and I hucked it at his head, split his head open. My parents came in, they're like, What are you doing? And I looked around like 
Is this a trick question? <laughs> what do you yeah. mean? What am I doing? <laughs> they had to drive them to the hospital. Oh, and like the whole game was just like throwing these pieces at each other. I played a game like that one time, but I was, it was the night before my confirmation. So I forget what year that is. High school, I think. But I'm in my friend's basement and we're drinking. We're having a good time. And we set up like these barriers with the couch and we would just grab whatever we had near us and just throw them as hard as we could. It was like four versus four. And I remember I peeked my head up from the couch this once and I just saw there's a five pound metal pine cone oh. ornament coming <laughs> right at me. And I went to duck like this and it got me real good right here. Drunk, didn't really feel it. I was like, that hurt. I woke up the next morning with my mom laying on the horn because I had to go get confirmed. And I look at my head and it's the biggest welt I've, I've ever had on my head. And so I'm icing as much as I can, like delaying her. And now in all my, I'll send you them, all my confirmation pics, you can just see makeup oh. and a huge egg on my fucking head. That's awesome. Well, what's your confirmation name? Malachi. That's pretty dope. Saint of that is shenanigans. Sick. What's yours, Beast? Luke. <laughs> you, did, yes. you doubled down. I was like, sorry, fucker, sticking <laughs> with what I got, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my bishop was old. He, sma- he slapped me. Wow. Did you ever hear that? No. They slap you sometimes? Yeah, we had, I had priestess teachers. Uh, right when I got there, though, they stopped hitting you. It was kind of a... It wasn't like he was hurting you, but he goes like... Where is it? To That's smack the devil penis. out of you. But my dad said, like, teachers used to do that back in the day. Did you fight with your siblings? Yes. Uh, I did fight with my brother sometimes. Not, You're not an a lot animal. <laughs> Her brother's in a Beast. wheelchair. She would physically fight him. <laughs> yeah, she just put the locks on him. She put like those like tire locks on his wheelchair, he and then just a... she put a broom in between the seats, pushing downstairs. She put five. that'll catch. Yeah, I did. that's what I said. My brother has a scar from me biting him once. Oh shit! Jesus. Um, well, it's it. well. Hear me out. Well, actually, don't hear me out. This sound. This is gonna sound so wrong, but it's it. It wasn't wrong. This always starts this way. Yeah, now I'm scared to say this. It's feeling like something. Oh, when we, when we were younger, prepare. We had a, we had, me, and my, me and my brother had a, like a biting contest, and whoever like tapped out first from like biting the other one. How old were you? Lost. Like very. Twenty one. Like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, like we didn't know any better. Obviously. That's odd, but it's it seems <laughs> no, no, kind of normal. Fucking, we yeah, but we were children and we didn't know any better, and so he has this like scar on, I think his knee, or somewhere next to his knee. He, where I just bit him so hard, like that he like <clears throat> tapped out and I won, and it's still there. My brother took a chunk out of my love handle in the fucking play <laughs> place at McDonald's Seriously? because I was like, I was doing the game where I'm like, this is my t- tube, like no one's coming and no one's going. <laughs> this is my tube. My brother was like the only one I was comfortable like roughhousing with. Yeah, and he. <laughs> His head ended up on my side, and he bit me <laughs> so hard he got a piece of meat. <laughs> oh my god! He like he took a little chunk off. I was bleeding. Like yeah. he took a fucking chunk <sighs> out of my side. He bit me so hard. Yeah, and I'm like you fucker. <laughs> and the thing was, I still didn't let him go. I'm like never. I'm like, You're never going this way. That is badass. Find another <laughs> route. Jesus Christ! That he bit me <clears throat> so hard. Speaking of chunks of meat, there was one time in college where. Uh, we threw a par- my friend threw a party. We were at his house, yeah. and we go to like I end up crashing on the couch. Wake up the next morning, there the door has a glass window on it, old door, and it had been punched out. And on one of the pieces of the glass is just like a a piece of human meat. And I'm like, this, what the fuck? And then I look outside. There's a ton of blood, and it was this <coughs> part of someone's thumb. Oh, a kid had punched it out the night before, like came back late night, punched it out. Nobody heard it. And just like literally removed half his thumb on the fucking window and just went home with it. Fuck! I think we gotta mail that back. Yeah, I ate it. I (laughs) I ate it. It's probably yummy. Maybe strong. You had to figure out what it was. Yeah, yeah. My next door neighbor Ryan was my brother's age, and he got really, really upset one time because he insisted that his dad had kicked the shit out of Chef Boyardee, (laughs) and we're like the cartoon chef from the can. He goes. Yeah, my dad fought that guy. He beat his ass. And we're like, that's a cartoon. You're No, you, that didn't happen. You're a liar. He's like, call me a liar again. Call me a liar again. My dad kicked Chef Boyardee's ass. And we're like, no, Ryan, he didn't. He goes inside and gets his fucking BB gun and stand, just comes back out and stands in his yard with his gun. And we're like, what is going on? What do you mean? You're going to shoot us with a BB gun because your dad beat up Chef Boyardee. And then we looked it up. 
He is a real guy. Yeah, but he was alive in like he the is 1800s. A real guy. That's what I thought. Yeah, like early 1900s. It's like an oil painting on the <laughs> yeah, can. Yeah. I have a good story about a BB gun. Yeah. This kid I knew, this is, I was so fucked up. This Rest is like, in peace. You know in Inside Out when they have the little the the yellow marbles and the blue marbles for core memories? I don't want I don't watch any movie that's not porn, baby. <laughs> 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 well, this was a big blue memory for me, big sad memory. Oh, got you. This guy was at his house, and we were just like, he had, he had like a big, what I thought was an airsoft gun, it was a big BB gun, mm-hmm. and he was like, let's shoot some squirrels, and I was like, fuck yeah, like you, you pin them on the back, they go ah, and they run away. <laughs> this was a BB gun. He shoots this squirrel, and it fully drops from the tree into his backyard, and I was like, hey, hey man, what happened there? We go down to check on it, and it's like writhing around. And he goes, Oh, fuck, dude. I got to kill this thing. And I was like, Okay. And he's like, Dude, my mom's going to be so pissed. We got to clean this up. And he goes, and the moment he lifts up the, the gun, the butt of the gun to bash it in the squirrel's head, his mom pulls in the backyard and he's bashing the squirrel's head in. And I literally this see his is a mom. Blue memory. Yeah. I literally see his mom and his sister screaming. I had no idea this thing was going to die. No, uh, and oh, yeah. and uh, like they came in and they freaked out. And they freaked out on me. He, like, was, tra- mo- he was trying to put it out of its misery. Yeah, he was trying to put it out of his misery. The misery he yeah, put it on. <laughs> he shot it and killed it. <laughs> yes. Um. But yeah, that was sad. That is oh, neg- neg- that is twisted. That yeah. that is actually That's twisted. That is full blown twisted. Anyway, uh, I can thought- I? <laughs> I told you I caught a bird one time when I was five with a I was okay. running around the backyard with a fishing net, and I I was like I'm gonna catch a bird and bring it inside, and my family's gonna parade me around their shoulders for catching a, a pet bird that we bring back the heart. They're gonna love you doing that for them. And, and I, I remember being five and just walking in. They're all eating breakfast, and, and they had seen me. Now that I heard about it, they're like, yeah, we watched you going to try to catch birds. But we were like, he's not gonna catch a fucking bird. And I walked in with it, and I was so happy, and the horror that ensued. <laughs> Because I let it go. I was like, be free. This is our bird now. <laughs> and I got screamed at so hard. I was like... Did you start crying? Yeah. I was like, I can't believe I would give you guys a gift. And for you to respond. backfire like that. And yeah. the bird's still alive, right? The bird's still alive, right? I bashed it. I, I bashed it. I bashed it. <laughs> <laughs> Whacked it against the wall. Why? Make up your mind. <laughs> I remember my little cousins were playing kickball in the backyard one time. And I was older. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a little celeb shot. And I remember like coming up and be like, Big kid and mm-hmm. coming in to launch a homer, mm-hmm. and I go. I they roll me a pitch. I rope one right over the fence. Fence. There's nothing to hit except one spot. It's a chain link fence. You can see through it. One spot on the fence is a cute little birdhouse that this old lady who lived on the other side of the fence had made. No. The ball connects. It was everyone was looking at. We, we, it was like a moment in time. It froze. The ball connects. The uh, birdhouse dunks over. All of the baby birds are poured out of the no! hole, and this dog immediately eats all. Oh, <laughs> no, it was in one fluid motion. Kathunk, pop, me, me, me. Oh, and I was my like, God. Oh, <laughs> how old are you? I was probably ten. Oh, they were fuck. like six. Fuck that. Yeah, it was. It was traumatic. For the, yeah. for the little ones, they were because it happened so fast that you couldn't stop that dog if you, you know, if you dude. To. And the thing was, you could tell that dog had been waiting for them babies to pop out of there. Oh, <laughs> he no. was like, He's "Yes." <laughs> oh, okay, my well, God. Luke, I want to show you before we get out of here. I want to show you my favorite new TikTok thing. Yeah, so. Um, Emily, just play the last three videos. Type so in, I've noticed lately, I've been human toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my my new favorite thing is I see these. Um, I get a lot of these on my feed now. It's like every like thirty videos is a sponsored song. Okay, so like someone clearly made a song at home. Someone got paid for this. No, no, no. Someone paid to have their song blasted out. By the way, with the last song that we showed on here, somehow they enabled <coughs> revenue sharing so that. Every time we make money on that video, they make money. It's fine. Well, I was just going to say, I thought that was funny because we're making them money. Good. I mean, yeah, we're helping. Yeah. I mean, above all else, Almost Friday Podcast is here to help. We're here to lift up the community around us. No matter how freaking twisted this world can get. Twisted. Yes. 
It's Emily and her brother. <laughs> That's a cool shot. <coughs> okay, I take that back. It's not. Beat okay. goes hard. Beat goes so, hard. So, Emily, you can pull the plug on this one. This is like... Too- that's Whoa. that's oh. the best one. This one, bump. I love bad music videos. And in fact... Just wait. The next time I come, I got I to gotta show you some, <laughs> some gems. Some juicy ones? From like, again, 15 years ago. The good ones where you're like, how did this guy get a camera? <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, this is oh, my favorite. This is Already, my I favorite. love him. Already, I love this him. Is, Full screen. Is well, Fusebox is out now. <laughs> yeah. I pre-saved it. Hit the switch when I open up the fuse box. Still going strong. The reason is the hardest life got. Throwing the dart and I always strike the He doesn't know the words to his own song. He probably can't hear the audio. He's in a wind-whipped sand dune. No one's on the beach. I just... <laughs> the, uh, it's not the, the it's not even the song that's blowing my mind. It's this music video. Like his arms are that's like That's not his song. His Yeah, no, I think it is. His arms are not part of the rest of his body. They're operating independently. Well, he's got good drip. This oh, one is this the one's best crazy. One. Liam found this one. I'm already Oh, I already love that this is a lane that you guys like. You've unlocked a <laughs> you've unlocked something mm-hmm. that you're not I've gonna, never seen any of these. Oh, I've never these seen are, shit like this is my You'll whole start view. getting them now. You're going to get I'm I'm I had to actively be like my wife had to tell me to stop following them because she's like <laughs> you're because she's like your videos are gonna go out to them yeah and i'm like you're right <laughs> i follow a lot of these kinds of people i love them all deeply okay. hit me hit me hit me with no condom boots in the pool well, I don't know what genre this is either. Um, it, classic it, rock. Really <laughs> it's awesome. I, I don't know. Maybe great. classic rock. Uh, maybe Beatles. I don't know. And I didn't know what she was them. saying at first, and then I finally, after five fucking times, maybe we. Could I have it tattooed with on my lower. Enemies, enemies with benefits. Enemies, I enemies. like. I respect any song where you go enemies, enemies with benefits, enemies, enemies with benefits, enemies, enemies with benefits. I think we could be enemies. With <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we can be enemies. With benefits. I like the way she said enemies with benefits. But does it that is. mean you're fucking someone you hate? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that here's the thing. I like her. <laughs> it happens in like every every Fast and Furious movie. That's where right. I'm a fem, I'm a yeah. corona man. Dom Toretto has to fuck the 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 bad girl of the movie. That's right. And then they they fight, and then she becomes part of the family at she the end. She becomes family. Your family is everything. <laughs> I had to fuck my cousin because this is Fast Eleven. We're running out of things. <laughs> I'm a corona man. <laughs> Those movies are literally just like a game of sardines. Where like by the end of the movie, he's added them to his like. His repertoire. Of <laughs> like it's literally, soul. <laughs> it's literally just a snowball. Do you like driving a car? <laughs> family is everything. <laughs> family, family. I am family. <laughs> uh, I am Groot. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming on, Luke Noel. Luke, thank you. Thanks for having so me. So you're gonna be at the Dynasty Typewriter October second. We're all going to be there. October 2nd is my special taping. Oh, my gosh, I'd love it if you, if you guys came. If you're in Cincinnati this weekend, oh, my gosh, I'd love it if you came. Live podcast recording. October 5th at the Bourbon Room. I'm crashing it. And again, October 5th, I'm going to be there. I'm not going to have any clothes. The cops have already been called and been told to look out that I'm going to be there. And here's the thing. I will come in from the ceiling on a rig system. Emily's got a guy. I do got a guy. And she said that you can use a lot of my folds to tie off and kind of make it look like I'm like a sugar glider. <laughs> you already know what it is. So thank you. We should so just go hand out tickets to like at a rehab center. Get a really sad you, crowd you in You want to bark outside of a rehab center? <laughs> oh, you should just hang out with my dad's friends. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's NASCAR my, friends. My, my dad's NASCAR <laughs> friends. My dad's NASCAR buddies. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.